This is, this is Underground Opera. Mark Antara, Sotokan Music uh, from Las Vegas. What is it you want to, t- to want to tell me about today? Uh, I just want to say thank you for for having me on. It's a, it's a real honor. Really enjoyed your your episode to listen to. Um, sharing mostly the we have our new uh, space rock um, album that that came out recently. Uh, reamp, revamp. Uh, this was a project where I, I had a lost a lot of lost music from my. Uh, past eras from the 20, early 20, 2000s, 2010s. Um, I, I found some old songs in a folder, um, and remixed them, created some new songs out of it, and it, it turned into this recent album. Reamp, revamp. It's a really fun album, by the way. I've, I've got a, I've got a few songs picked out we'll discuss, and you want to discuss your new single, Favorite Time of Year. Tell me about Favorite Time of Year. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, with the, the summer winding down, Finally, um, you know, I realized I haven't really done like a Halloween themed soda contract. So we, we put one out that's coming out September 29th. Uh, it can be pre saved now on all the, the digital music services. This is not on revamp, re- re- revamp. This song is not. Uh, no, this one's a, an extra one that, that's out. So I got, got a few new ones out after that. But yeah, revamp, revamp. I finished up around, I believe it was around, around May. When I finished that up, and then just been been promoting it ever since. Well, I love travel around. Tell me, tell me about travel around. Is I love that song. N- nice. Um, I appreciate you listening to it. Uh, travel around was a was one that that basically just had like a beat and a bass. I found it in a folder from like songs from from 2016, and didn't really done much with it. And it, and I started putting on some guitars with it. I I used um, some. Uh, reverb effect on on the guitar um and and a little bit of uh just different plugins combined but um it, it turned out with this kind of a really nice mastered sound in the end it, and and it, it's kind of got a hollywood kind of kick to it which is not my usual style but the way the, the chorus kicks in kind of has like that kind of like an la vibe so i like the way that one turned out so yeah i appreciate you listening to it sure Oh, I've listened to it several times actually. <laughs> I get a kick. I, I mean, I was I was grilling last Sunday. I was outside grilling, and I had the music. And I was, the neighbors probably got tired of hearing that song. <laughs> I played. I, I don't like those people anyway. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Well, yeah. Thank you so much for playing it in, during your barbecue and and and, and jamming it. That, it's, it's nice to hear. I, I enjoyed working on it and, and the, the chorus part with the the multi layered vocals. You know, there's a lot of things came together for it. So, yeah, it was 
So the whole album is basically just taking and re- revamping old tracks or reamping the guitars on ones I'd already done. My other favorite song, which is also my singer's favorite song, from when we was driving back from Boston the other day, I made whoever's driving picks out the music. You know, you know how it works. <laughs> and he, oh, yeah. He and I were in agreement. All star sci fi fan is a great song. <laughs> wow, I, that surprised me. I, I'm really glad you you listened to that and and thank you, thank you, send thanks to your singer for me. Um, you know, I, that's cool. I was listening to on a on East Coast road trip. Um, yeah, All Star Sci Fi Fan was more of a, a reamp song, so I reamped the guitars with some uh, Marshall uh, Marshall style plugins. Um, I believe it was the Silver Jubilee I used, if I remember right, and then did some some specific EQ stuff to it. But it's a song I had for for a while, and just kind of kept re-recording it a thousand times. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. What's the story behind it? There's got to be a story behind that. Yeah, you know, um, <laughs> when I, we went to, uh, I, I was always into like, I'm like this kind of sci-fi nerd, so I watch like shows like Doctor Who and and different sci-fi. I, just, I like anything sci-fi, really, and um, anything fantasy-based. And ever since I was a kid, I, I did. So, so basically, it talks about being being just this uh, nerdy all-star sci-fi fan mixed with some heavy rock. Do you play Dungeons and Dragons? Y- you know, yes. And, um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> not not so much lately. Uh, yeah, I tried to try to get my wife and my boy to play so I know I bought a set. They it's hard to get them into it, but yeah, I if I get the chance I definitely play. What kind of character do you play? You know, I like to I when I started when I was a teenager playing it <laughs> I liked doing like the the warriors. Now I'm into like like wizards, but I always go with a chaotic good alignment. <laughs> <laughs> so no paladin, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I, I play like in a weird way where I'll just do all these random things and get myself into trouble. And the, and the dungeon master's like, roll the dice. <laughs> <laughs> What's the song Travel Around about? Oh, Travel Around. Um, that one is mainly um, about like small time music producers, you know, having their say and, you know, coming up in, in the world and being able to, to jam out. You know, more than they have in the past, at least in theory. So that's a good, I'm telling you, I'm, 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 I really think my neighbors probably like this. Do you not have another song? And I listened to it so many times while I was grilling. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I play it more. I, I, I really, you know, I really appreciate that, that you like it. I, I was, um, yeah, that one's the one that, that turned out okay with the I, I used the Atlantis um Atlantis dual chamber reverb. I was trying to remember the the name before and, and that was the that's kinda of how it got its sound with that that and the kind of a slow solo at the end. Well you wanted to tell me about Las Vegas Room Six. Oh oh yeah, the so Room Six, uh Las Vegas. Um so it's a, a shout out to a to a friend here, um Josh Courtright who does his channel. Um if you know, so subscribe to, to that one as well, um, uh, as this channel as well. Anyone who's, who's listening, um, so I'll be on there for my second interview. So I haven't, I haven't been on, on there since 2019 when the, the pandemic, right before the pandemic hit, I was on there. And, um, I've, I've done some Room Six Las Vegas shows out here. We, we did one last year. Um, you know, played a, a showcase at the Chiba Hut and, um, a really good guy he does some amazing stuff on his channel, so I just want to send a shout out to them. Um, another one to, to subscribe to. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still with the uh, thing. allergy seasons here in Louisville. That's one of the things I like about Las Vegas, man. <laughs> oh, no worries. Yeah, I was, uh, we're feeling better with that. In Las Vegas, I, uh, I I get allergies a lot out here. The last two weeks, thankfully not, but it's. It's, it, it's, it gets dry and it gets dusty, and we, we get quite a bit of pollen, actually. Really? Because that, that surprised me. Every time I go there, I don't sneeze at all. <laughs> I can't, I can't. <laughs> that is a shocker to me, honestly. <laughs> it might be, I don't know if as it's maybe I, crossing the, I'm not sure, maybe the East Coast thing, I'm not sure. Well, you said there was a there was some kind of desert flower that... <laughs> 
Yeah, like they they bloom at weird times, and and like I noticed I was at the store the other day that all these all the small trees had these blooms on them, and I was sneezing all day. I'm like, okay, that's why. As soon as I get off the plane when I return from Vegas, I have to, achoo! Like, ah! Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. What all you want to add in before we wrap this up, starting to run out of time? No, I, yeah, I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, this has been, been awesome. I appreciate you having me on. Um, the, uh, mainly, yeah, check out our, our new singles coming out. Um, I've, uh, I've got a side project I've been working on some, some music for. To, um, it's on my website, sodaconmusic.com, uh, Pantheon Escape. So you want to check out some of those songs. And, and there'll be some Sodacons coming out if, if you follow us on, on, we're mostly active on our Facebook page right now. So that's, uh, yeah. where we can find us. We do our Instagram too and, and, and all, but, but yeah, man, I appreciate you having, having me on. And, uh, it's pretty awesome. And next time you're in Vegas, you know, send me a shout and I'll have to go check you guys out. All right, man. Hell yeah. Oh, I know what I want. What does SodaCon mean? <laughs> yeah, SodaCon was uh, back in like the, the late 90s when I first started trying to record. I, I would make these these like four-track cassette tapes. Uh, RE Squared Over B was the name of that project. And and we, I'd make these tapes, and, and there was a song on there called SodaCon, and it was uh, kind of a derivative from like, this friend of mine who did he did he was this really good karate kicker. He, he called it Shotokan School or something like that. So he was I made the mistake of of, of having a spar with him one day. But he, he um you know I, I was thankfully I was good on my defense. But he but he, you know that's where it kind of derived from that. And I made this eight minute Iron Maiden sounding type song uh, with, with heavy rock guitars, and then eventually in, in 05 it turned into to an actual Sotocon record, and then and then I was playing local within Salt Lake, and um, and after that, it's just yeah, I made Sotocon albums. That is all our time we have for now. Thank you for listening to Undergroundopolis. Remember, we do this every Wednesday night, bringing you new and exciting artists every week. Be sure to hit up their websites and social media, and stream or download their music. If you like this show, please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, any streaming platform, and leave us a review as well. I'm your host, Rob Lyon, signing off.